Today on the show, Dropbox file encryption access on your Android device and a high altitude balloon liftoff. All that and more this time on Hack 5. This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello and welcome to this episode of Hack 5. My name is Shannon Morse and this is your weekly dose of Technolust. And as you can see, my co-host is still nowhere to be found. He's still over in Europe hacking his way across Europe. And you can find all the information about that down at the link below. And I wanted to go ahead and start it off talking about NCFS. Now, I did have a segment about that back in 1225, episode 1225. Uh, so you can find that on hack5.org. And that was basically a rundown of how to install NCFS on your own Linux machine and how to run through it and how, basically how to uh, make it work with Dropbox. So you can actually have encrypted full files really, really easily in your Dropbox that you can access from any other PC. The problem with that, though, is NCFS doesn't necessarily have an easy way to do it from an Android device or an iOS uh, cell phone. So there's no really accessible way to get your encrypted folders or files on your Android uh, device. So enter Kryptonite. So now there's this, this Kryptonite thing. It sounds like something from, you know, Superman, but it's not. It's actually an Android app that's available in Google Play, it's completely free, and it brings NCFS and TrueCrypt as well over to Android. So you can do everything like browsing, exporting, you can open NCFS encrypted directories and files on your Dropbox on your phone. Very cool. Now the, the TrueCrypt version of this is only available as a command line version at this time, but the app is still in development, so I'm sure that's going to become, come to the, uh, the application very soon. At least, I hope it does. Now, another thing to think about this is it has a really, really nice and easy GUI. So it's very easy to use. It only takes a couple of seconds to set up and it's wonderfully open source. So I'm sure it makes everybody out there very happy because you can read the code and you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. It's also based off the original NCFS uh, code and it's fully compatible with all the NCFS features. So you're able to do everything that you, you actually wanna do on your Android device, for example, you can do downloading and uploading. You can create NCFS volumes on your Dropbox or and or on your phone as well. And of course, as I said, it's still under development, so experienced Android users only. If you don't know what you're doing, you might not want to play with this quite yet. It's still under development. Now, let's go ahead and test this out. I have a Nexus 4. Uh, from episode 1225, I already have NCFS set up for my account. I'm going to go ahead and put in my PIN code, log on here. <laughs> All right. So here we have my regular home folder. Right here is Kryptonite. You can just find it in Google Play. It's spelled with a C instead of a K. Uh, it does tell you dragons ahead. Oh, no, uh, winter is coming. This program's under development. Use at your own risk. It's distributed without any warranty. So make sure you don't do anything that you wouldn't want to do and break your cell phone, because that would not be very good. Now, first thing, thing you need to do is link with Dropbox. So you just click this little button at the top, click Allow. And if you're lo already logged into Dropbox, there's no login username and password that you need to do from your phone. If you haven't already logged into Dropbox, you'll obviously have to put that in. After that, you want to decrypt your Dropbox folder right here. So click on that. And it shows me everything that I already have lined up in there. Now, so most of this stuff is not encrypted as, as it is right now. Most of this is just you know junk that I threw up in Dropbox so that I can easily access it from any PC. It doesn't really matter. But I do have one encrypted folder down at the bottom. It's called encrypted. So if I click on that, you'll see I have NCFS XML, which you never want to delete. And I also have this random little uh, series of letters and numbers right there, which is um, completely encrypted. I can't really do anything with it. It's not going to open. And then these two folders at the top are just going to bring me to my main folder. Down here, select current folder. This is selecting the uh, encrypted folder, not the actual file right there. You want to enter your password, whatever you put in whenever you set up NCFS on your machine. So I'm going to type in my password, which is incredibly easy, but I don't really care. This is for testing purposes only. It's going to run NCFS. This will take a moment. 
and then it'll say successfully decrypted NCFS volume. Now, if you do get an error when you do this, you probably just typed in your password wrong and it'll just bring you back to your regular Dropbox folder. It'll just say something like uh, um, password and username were incomplete or unable to access NCFS folder. So you probably just have to put in your password again. All right, so now that I am linked up, I can see local, now if this is for any kind of local encryption that you want to add. You can forget the decryption since I already have it turned on. I can also mount NCFS if I had a rooted device. And then over here under expert, click. I can also start a terminal and start a root terminal. Yay, fun stuff. Let me go back over to Dropbox. Get decryption, save as default. Now I want to browse the decrypted folder and now, ta-da! you have my example text file, which you can actually access. There we go. And I can export the selected, I can upload a file to this folder, so I can also upload a new folder or files if I wanted to. And if I export it, exporting can be slow, it's going to copy decrypted files to your phone. So you want to proceed, yes, it's a tiny one, so I don't really care about it being slow, it's going to be all right. And let's see, where should I put this? Oh, I don't have an SD card yet. That's sad. Where should I put it? Where do you think, Paul? I guess I'll just put it under. Oh, there are stuff in here. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Downloads. Export, current folder. Cool, so it successfully exported the folder, it, or the file, and now I can access it from my phone, or I can just re-upload it to Dropbox, or do whatever I want with it. I could send it to people, for example. Now, this does have a couple of bugs to keep in mind since it is still in development. First off, mounting only does not work on some Android 4.2 devices. It, for the most part, will work uh, just on your regular device, but Keep in mind there might be a problem with that on your own machine or on your own uh, Android smartphone. Also, there are a couple of features that require Fuse and Root. Uh, mounting NCFS volumes require Root and kernel Fuse support, which is found in some Cyanogen mod ROMs. And then offline access to Dropbox volumes is available with rooted phones that support Fuse. So to access an encrypted Dropbox volume when you're offline, you can sync the encrypted volume to a local folder with one of the many apps that are available out there. There's a Folder Sync Lite, there's Drop Sync, so you have plenty of options. And then you can mount that local volume with Kryptonite. And there you go, you're ready to go. There's also a couple of different permissions that are needed. Uh, internet permission to access Dropbox, obviously, and then the SD card access to read and write files. And that's about it. So tell me what you think of Kryptonite. I thought it was really easy to use. It's very simple. And as long as you had no problems installing NCFS on your Linux machine, you shouldn't have any problems getting this to work on your Android device. But uh, let me know if you had any issues on your own Android phones, or let me know if you found any really cool tips with Kryptonite, or if you have another app that you'd like to share with me. And with that, we're going to take an ad break. And after that, we got Darren. Budding entrepreneurs, startups, and innovators are all turning ideas into realities online, backed by the strength of a .NET domain name. .NET is globally known. It's one of the world's most popular domain extensions. A .NET domain name injects your business with instant credibility. Entrepreneurs and startups will immediately discover the advantages of building their web presence around a .NET domain name. Do you already have a .com? Purchase the corresponding .NET and protect your online brand. Or is the .com you want already taken and you don't want to register a .com domain name that's 20 characters long? The .NET is a perfect alternative. You can find a new .NET domain at domain.com. I like domain.com because they're really affordable. .NETs are only $8.99 a year. They're reliable, they're easy to use. Plus, domain.com's really active on social media. They got a huge presence on Twitter. They're at domain.com. And they have a great customer support, so it makes it a really fun place to do business business with. So the guys at Domain.com, they want to hook up our fans with an awesome offer. You can get 15% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code HAK5 at Domain.com's checkout. That's 15% off and big savings. Don't forget to use coupon code HACK5 and when you think domain names, think Domain.com. <laughs> 